there, senior high learners. I'm Teacher Joan. Great to have you all in our class today. I believe each one of you has a God-given talent. Let's explore your talent while learning the different art forms. Have your pen and paper ready as we learn about contemporary Philippine arts from the regions. In our previous lesson topic, we discuss about what contemporary art is. We have defined contemporary art as art created from the 1970s up to the present, produced by an artist still living today, and art that reflects the realities and values of our society. For today's lesson, we are going to learn about the various art forms. But before that, Let's test how well you know about classification of artworks. Can you name this artwork? If you answered calligraphy, it is correct answer. Letters are visually attractive. It is a visual art related to writing. With the aid of calligraphy pen or brushes, dip in paint. Calligraphers have the artistic skill to produce communication materials for marketing, advertising, and reproducing manuscripts. What about this art form? Dance is correct. It is a performing art. The dancer stages various body movements as a non-verbal communication using Motion. There are many art forms that you can explore. I would like you to get to know more about the major classification of art forms. This will be very helpful for you in distinguishing what particular art profession you may like to pursue in the future. There are three major classifications of art forms. Visual Arts Performing Arts literary arts. Do you love to draw, paint, or take a photo? If you answered yes to any of those choices, then you are a visual arts enthusiast. Visual arts is an art form that is perceived by the eyes. Emotion is envisioned by the artist. Visual arts are also called spatial arts because this artworks occupy space, hence spatial arts. Examples are this painting and this wood carving. Visual arts as an art form is categorized into graphic art and plastic art. Graphic arts are visual arts that have length and width. They are also called two-dimensional arts, which are plays on flat surfaces. Examples of graphic arts are painting, printing, drawing, sketching, commercial art, mechanical processes, computer graphics, and photography. On the other hand, plastic art are visual arts that have length, width, and volume. They are called three-dimension arts. Examples are Sculpture, Architecture, Interior Design, Set Design, Theater Design, Craft. Visual arts is seen as a manifestation of our rich culture. We have examples of graphic art as a two-dimensional art or plastic art as a three-dimensional art. Can you identify the classification of the following visual art form? Write A for graphic art or B for plastic art. If you answered A, graphic art, that is correct. Photography is an example of graphic art. If you ever wonder how to become a professional photographer, here is my friend, 
Tiff Bunny, who could tell you more about it. My name is Tiff and I'm a professional photographer. It started as a hobby in 2008. It was called Baggy Multipliers before Facebook became mainstream, then later on the Baggy Photographers Club. Taking photos of flowers, landscapes, and people. I love going to the streets. When you do street photography, you develop your eyes to make something out of the ordinary. Four years later, I became professional, shooting portraits, food photography, sports and action, where you get to capture unscripted emotions. Same with weddings and events. Photography teaches you a lot of things. It makes you creative, you learn to be patient, you give attention to detail, and you'll also learn to have strong networking skills. You will learn the elements of photography, composition techniques, and use them to produce creative digital images. So take this opportunity to learn new things and discover your hidden talents. This is an art installation. Is this A, graphic art? Or B, plastic art? Art installation is B, plastic art. Art installation is an example of a three-dimensional contemporary art. Leroy New, the artist, creates his work using items like metal scraps, bottles, and traditional materials like bamboo. One of his creations is an art installation in Pawai Sand Dunes in Ilocos Norte, where he featured a spaceship made of recycled materials. As public art, installations can be of great value to events. Let's move along with the next art form, performing arts. Do you know how to sing? Play a musical instrument, dance or act? If you answered yes to any of this, you have a talent in the performing arts or the audiovisual arts. Perceive both by the ears for audio and eyes for visuals. This art form is also known as the performing arts since the artist performs in front of an audience. The performing arts are music, dance, theater, and film. Music appeals to the sense of hearing composed by combining notes into harmony. Music is classified into vocal music, instrumental music, and a combination of two. Vocal music is used for singing solo or duet or in a choir, with accompaniment or without, which leads to another example of vocal music, a cappella. A cappella is singing without a musical instrument. When you're feeling good, or oh, you're feeling lonely, you just want to chill. Instrumental can be rendered as a solo or a combination of musical instruments like in a symphony. The contemporary music of the Philippines is called OPM or Original Filipino Music. Dances as an art form uses the art of human form wherein the body is used mobilized, and choreographed in specific time, form, and space. Some types of dances would be traditional, social, and theatrical. Examples of traditional dances in our country are those that we call Filipino folk dances. Another type of traditional dance is ethnic dance, which is any dance form that can be identified as originating from the ethnic culture and expressing the movement aesthetics of that culture. Social or ballroom dances are those that can be performed in pairs or in groups to socialize and are usually done in dance halls or ballrooms. Another type of dance would be theatrical dance. 
The next type of audiovisual arts or performing arts is theater. Theatrical performances are not just done inside the theater. It can also be outdoors. The dramatic text is portrayed by actors and actresses using their voice and bodies to convey artistic expression enhanced by props, lights, and sounds and can be viewed in television, film, and the internet platform. Among this, the experience of watching a stage play is the most realistic. I know you've been very appreciative of the performing arts. Get to know about the third classification of art form. Literary arts, which are presented in written mode and are intended to be read. The art form of language through the combined words, creating meaning and experience. This includes prose and poetry. The prose is written in paragraph form. Examples, short stories, novels, essays, plays, and poetry. Composed of lines in stanza. The second stanza of the poem by Jose Rizal, Mi Ultimo Adios, has these lines translated by national artist Nick Joaquin. In barricades embattled, fighting in delirium, others give you their lives without doubts, without gloom. The sight not matters, cypress, laurel, or lily, gibbet or open field. Combat or cruel martyrdom are equal if demanded by country and home. The poem you just heard was the inspiration of national artist Guillermo Talentino in sculpting the UP oblation. Poetry may be narrative, lyric, and dramatic. In our country, literary works are given importance. It speaks about the thoughts and ideals of the writers. The Palanca Awards or Don Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature recognizes the Filipino writers. The Palanca Award is the country's highest literary honor in terms of prestige. Take note of the classification of arts that can be combined to form an artwork. This becomes an integrative art. A novel may have a painting, graphic art, photography, or drawing as its cover. The novel can also be used in film adaptation. There are a lot more to explore. Think about the other art forms that makes a new artwork. You may have hidden talents in you. Let us work together to enhance your talents by getting you informed and inspired by the works of great artists. Today, you have learned about examples of major contemporary art forms in the Philippines. These are visual arts or spatial arts, which includes architecture design and allied arts. The performing arts or audiovisual arts, which includes music, dance, theater, and film. And the written works for literature or literary arts. Art is very valuable in our day-to-day -day life. You may not be aware of it, but art is all around us. I encourage you to put hard work and dedication in your chosen art form. Let's see how well you remember our lesson today about various art forms and its classification. Read the sentences along with me carefully and I will give you three seconds to select the letter of your choice and place it on your paper. 1. The other term used for audiovisual art. A. Literary arts. B. Performing arts. C. Visual arts. The correct answer is letter B. Performing arts. Artwork like painting, photography, or sculpture are examples of A. 
Literary Arts, B. Performing Arts, and C. Visual Arts. The correct answer is letter C. Visual Arts. The art form of language through the combined words creating meaning and experience. A. Literary Arts. B. Integrative Arts. C. Performing Arts. The correct answer is letter A. Literary Arts. Wow! You did an awesome job today! I hope you have learned a lot about arts. For your homework, I encourage you to showcase your talent and post an art form of your choice through our Art Tita page on Facebook. Or you can post a hashtag, Sipar, my talent. Who knows? The next featured artwork will be yours. Thank you for your time. Until our next meeting, I'm your art tita. I'm Teacher Joanne. Always happy to serve. Bye and God bless.